Hey y'all, I am D Nicole, and I usually wouldn't do a video like this, but I know there are several overwhelmed teachers out there like myself, who hopefully today I will make your life a little easier. I'm a visual and kinesthetic learner who has to do things and see things in order to understand what exactly that I am doing. So I don't want to waste any more of your time, so make sure that you go ahead, like this video below, comment, ask questions, and maybe I can come with a video once I figure this out. So go ahead, open up your Microsoft Teams app, and let's get to it. So, the first thing we're going to do is, of course, click our Teams app. And we will go to our team section. When we go to the team section, we will go to the class that we would like to distribute our workbook page to. So I will go to the practice class. And this is just a dummy class that I made with me and some of my um, friends. So next we will go to class notebook because class notebook is where you will actually add the workbook page to. So in order for you to add the workbook page, of course, you have to set up the OneNote class notebook. So you will go to that, click that, and then you will click blank notebook. All right, so here, you guys, I say pay very close attention to because this allows you to know what exactly each section is for in your student's um, class notebook. So what they will actually see. So you will have the collaboration space, the content library, the teacher only section, and the student notebooks. Now you guys, I have been practicing with this and I mean it took me forever before I finally figured out how to edit the workbook page for them to be able to edit, for only them to view it, and for me to see it. So if I would have just simply read this page, you guys, it had, would have been very, very, very simple. So, um, my school district, we do the, uh, we do, I do, uh, we do, you do before our gradual release method. And so, um, I'm going to tell you what I would suggest because I have played with it and I have seen where things, when things go in certain, um, sections, what will actually happen. So, it tells you on the side what will happen. So, the collaboration space, it tells you that the teacher can edit the content and the student can edit the content. So, this is where I would actually do our we do. So, for instance, if I had the kids to, you know, go to on their workbook pages and do their work and we were going to actually have the students to share their answers and what they actually got, I would put it in collaboration space, tell them to go to collaboration space because the teacher can edit and the student can edit and all of the students will be able to see what the other student edited you will have to make sure that you actually assign them you know the actual numbers because you know it won't be everybody writing on the same thing but you, we will be able to see the actual what another student wrote and what if the teacher wrote in the actual collaboration space Next, you have your content library, and I would suggest this would be the I do. This is when the teacher is only facilitating the lesson, so the teacher can edit the content, but the student cannot. They can only view it. So, this is where I would have my district is giving um, my school, our students, I mean, a workbook and the actual technology. So, I would have them use their actual notebook, This, I mean, not workbook. And they will be able to write in their workbook while I am actually teaching, you know, to fill in what I'm filling in. So that's what I suggest for a content library. Teacher only section is very self-explanatory. And then next will be where the students are actually, you know, able to edit it and only they can see it and the teacher can see it. So whatever their student writes on their workbook page, this is where we can see it. And so this is actually where I am about to teach you how to distribute the work into the student notebook, their private space. Okay, so we're going to click next. Here is what the tabs of what the student actually sees, the student view. So, of course, we will have a totally different view from our students, but this is what they will see. 
So I am going to, so this is the class notebook. We know that the class notebook is where they will have their private space. So here is where I will put the things that they can turn in privately. So for instance, we have an application problem. Our problem set. Homework can keep that. Exit ticket. I mean, you can add a section if you want to. I'm just doing this as an actual example. My class is different. I have other tabs because of my school. We have to do a Viking challenge and different things like that. So I will have other tabs on my uh, note, actual notebook. So while you're getting your class notebook ready, you can actually minimize this screen and you can actually go to where you will actually be downloading your actual workbook page. So I, my school district, we use Eureka. And on the first week of school, I'm basically just going to be showing my kids um, how to work teams and while we're doing that i am going to be using some second grade material to help them to do it before we actually start our curriculum instruction so this will be our actual review so i want to print out the first lesson problem set and so i will see that it's on it's page 21 and 22 i will actually go to print and when you go to print instead of your destination being your printer you're going to save it as pdf next you will go to pages and you do custom and i think it was 21 through 22 yep and um you want to say when well, you want one per sheet and you want to save it so i'm going to save this as um, day one save so um, next we will go back to our teams where it says class notebook and our class notebook has already been set up once you click this purple tab you will see your students names over here um you will see the collaboration space stuff that, where you will put your collaboration space your content library your teacher only and then all of your students notebooks so i will go to click class notebook at the top and then i'm going to put open in app because it's just easier for me to open and use it as app so next i'm going to it, we opened it up gave me a blank page I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to my actual day one PDF and I'm going to insert it as print out. Remember insert as print out. Once you insert it as print out, let me go ahead and make this a little bigger. I'm going to make my workbook pages a little bit bigger for my students to be able to write on and i'm going to bring my workbook page up make it a bit bigger for my students to be able to write on like an actual page size I guess I'm going to do it and then you have to right click it and set as background you're setting as background so that when the students get the actual file it will not uh, and they start to write the um, workbook page will not move like how I'm moving it now so you have to set it as background so I'm just gonna pull this up resize the image set this background all right so once you set it as background
you will go back to your class notebook at the top and you will go to distribute page all right so here's where you will click cross notebook distribution for the practice class notebook and you're going to press next then you're going to distribute what tab you want this to go into so this is my problem set so i'm gonna click problem set and i'm going to distribute okay so it says that it is done so now i'm going to go back to my teams app And I'm going to just click on one of my students' name. And I'm going to click Problem Set. And then I'm going to go down to Day 1. So here's where the students will be able to see the actual workbook page that you had them to uh that you distributed over now this is how you would tell your students to be able to draw on the page or to be able to type on the page so you will go to the tab that says draw at the top and for instance they want to tell them to put their name we're going to put a name put this down a little bit put it in yeah The date is August 29th, 2020, blah, blah, blah. And so next, the directions tell them to circle two groups of, I mean, circle groups of two apples. Hello, I don't know what's going on with me. And so here, I would click the pencil and I would tell the kids to, you know, follow those directions and draw so circle it and they will go in circle groups of two apples all right and then the next question says there are blank groups of five apples so then i would tell them to go to text wherever that it has a a line i'm gonna tell them that this is where i want them to actually do text and that will be all so then you go to let's go back to another student workbook Problem set. Go to day one. And you see that her page is not edited. So we see that each of the files are going to be actually different. All right, you guys. So that is how you distribute work to a class notebook. I hope that I was a help. And I wish us luck during this virtual school year, you guys. Good luck.